Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here with my first Madden 21 franchise rebuild. And we're going to be rebuilding the Jacksonville Jaguars, who I actually plan to use for my Madden 21 series rebuild to where I just play it game by game for you guys. I plan to do them or the Cardinals, Jets, Lions, someone like that, or even the Bengals. But you guys can decide in the comments, so comment down below. But the Jaguars just released Leonard Fournette, and he's on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, so expect a video for that real soon. And here we are with the overlook of the team as we have Minshew Magic over here. And he's overall a pretty young quarterback, 73 overall. His development is what matters though, star development, so we're going to keep him around. Leonard Fournette, he was cut in real life, so I will cut him now. Leonard Fournette is no longer on the team. DJ Chark is here, and I do not know who this receiver is, but he's going to be our third string. And DJ Chark is a very underrated receiver, only 23 years old, very young and talented. Didi Westbrook, 26 years old, 79 overall, star development, which is all right, nothing insane though. And uh, offensive line is overall solid. It's not amazing, but it's pretty young. Tyler Eifer, I am going to be looking to trade. Yes, the Jaguars did just get him in free agency, but at the same time, he is pretty old. So in Madden terms, he's not that good, especially since he only has normal development. We have Josh Allen here with superstar development, going to be a big piece. And CJ Henderson, I, I, think, I think he was a first-round pick. I don't know for sure. I feel like an idiot for saying that, but Ronnie Harrison is a good, strong safety considering his youth and development. Joe Schobert is here. We're going to keep him around. And Miles Jack usually develops pretty well, especially in Madden 19 and 20. He develops pretty well. So uh, overall, we we are looking to upgrade Miles Jack. Hopefully, he will upgrade as fast as he does. In the previous Maddens, Josh Lambeau is superstar development, which is very important. I'm going to move this receiver up in punt returner and kick returner just so that way he gets more reps and he gets more play time. So it does feel good to be back to be doing rebuilds for you guys because I know it's been a while and I know you guys sometimes hate it. But um, I'm back and I'm just glad to be back. Franchise still kind of sucks. Earl Thomas would be a good pickup. But I'm trying to make my moves a little bit more realistic in free agency because you guys have been complaining about how my rebuilds aren't realistic. It's like, it's supposed to be a fantasy style, but either way, I'm just going to listen to you guys. And now here we are in the trades as we are trading away Tyler Eifer and our defensive tackle for a first and a fifth from the New England Patriots. And next, we are trading with the LA Rams, DJ Hayden, and I think Keenan Cole for a first and a third from the LA Rams. And this is what the team looks like after the trades. Not huge, not huge moves, but either way, I heard it was also a lot harder to draft this year. So if you guys see me drafting normal developments left and right, just know that it is harder to draft this year. Getting de good development traits in the first round even is still difficult, people say. It seems like quarterbacks is the only common development trait you can have. But apart from that, guys, it is time to get into the midseason mark. And here we are at the midseason mark coming off a loss to the LA Chargers. And their symbol does look different from last year. I know that they did have a symbol update. The bolt just looks a little bit longer. But we are third in the division and we have players to re-sign such as... D.D. Westbrook, and I know it's insane to call a 26-year-old old, but he, yeah, he isn't old in Madden terms, but I doubt he'll get above an 85 in this rebuild, but either way, he resigns Tim Jerrigan, I just can't resign him considering he's 27 and only has a normal development. Regression starts at 28 for players that aren't corner, quarterbacks or offensive linemen, so uh, we have Trey Herndon here, who is relatively cheap, so I do plan to keep him around, 24 years old. And he wants more salary. I could get him cheaper in free agency, but I don't know how free agency works that well this year. Last year, you used to be able to cheese it really easily. And um, yeah, we have Camber Robinson here as well. We're going to keep him around. I know it's insane to keep him around because last year, whenever I didn't have an offensive lineman that had star development or above, I would usually just drop him. But we need him this year. Things have changed in Madden 21. And here we are in the playoffs, and we did make the playoffs coming off a loss to the Colts, and we finished three and third. What kind of drop-off did we have? That was insane. That's the playoff schedule, so we need to get to the team schedule, and we had a win, a loss, a win, a loss, a win, a loss, and then loss, 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 all loss, all losses from there. That is that is horrible to see. But uh, 
Either way, that was quite the drop off going from three and four at the midseason mark to three and 13 at the end season. Minshew did not produce like I would like worst offense and worst defense in the NFL. Most likely the worst team. We're going to get the first pick in the draft. Hopefully I can cheese it. Phillip Rivers wins MVP. Zach Taylor, coach of the year. Phillip Rivers, offensive player of the year. And Vaughn Miller, defensive player of the year. Justin Herbert, rookie of the year. Logan Wilson, defensive rookie of the year. Phillip Rivers, best QB. Derrick Henry, best running back. Zach Pascal, best wide receiver. Ronnie Stanley, best O-line. J.J. Watt, best D-line. Vaughn Miller, best linebacker. Tedrick Thompson, best DB. Justin Tucker, best kicker. I'm just going to skim through awards like that because you guys don't really need to see them. You guys won't remember them in the next 30 minutes. It it won't matter to you. But uh, overall... Chris Thompson was terrible, absolute god-awful, but you can't really expect too much from a normal development halfback. T.D. Westbrook was actually pretty good, over 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns, was actually very good. Joe Schubert with 134 tackles, which is amazing. Tackles for a loss, 15 for Miles Jack, sacks, 10.5 for Josh Allen, interceptions, 2 for C.J. Henderson, and safeties is 0, and defensive touchdowns is 0. So apart from that, guys, I would say it is time to get into the offseason. And here we are in the offseason. Are you kidding me? EA didn't update it. It says we're still in Super Bowl 54. That's so stupid. EA, what? Super Bowl 54 was last year. Why don't you update it to the 2020 season? That's how. That just shows you how lazy EA is. They seriously didn't even update the Super Bowl? It's still Super Bowl 54. That's retarded. Yeah, that's that's freaking stupid. But anyways, this is what the team looks like before I go into a rage spree. But uh, wide receivers, we don't need to focus on the draft, which is a new thing for me, which I like because most of the time I end up having to pick wide receivers and most of them end up to being trash. Miles Jack is now superstar development and J- Jacobs is star development. And CJ Henderson is superstar development. Did he get that? No, it looks like he started with superstar development, which is rare to see EA do that to anybody. But um, looks like, yeah, Josh Allen already had superstar development and Ronnie Harrison already had star. But overall, good development upgrades. It is time to get into free agency. And this is what the team looks like after free agency as we did pick up Alvin Kamara in free agency or Kamara, however you want to pronounce it, and Gerald Everett at tight end. And we also ended up picking up Chidabe, Wuzie, however you want to say that. But I'm going to start CJ Henderson just because his development is higher. And Jacobs, Leon Jacobs, like I was saying, did get star development. So I do plan to keep him around for the future. 25 years old, star development. But apart from that, guys, it is time to get into the draft. We are picking up a free safety with only normal development at pick number four, 76 overall. Developments are very hard to get this year in the draft, so don't yell at me in the comments. Next, we have our center, who I'm going to move to a right guard, 75 overall, normal development. Pick number 11, and he only has normal development as well. And this is what the team looks like after the draft, as I did move that center to right guard, and now we have a 77 overall right guard. So normal developments aren't the worst things this year. You just got to get used to them. Our free safety position has been filled. But apart from that, guys, it looks like it is time to get into the midseason mark. And here we are at the midseason mark coming off a loss to the Houston Texans as we are 5-2, second in the division below the Houston Texans who are 6-1. We have players to resign such as DJ Chark, 89 overall, star development. Want to keep him on a long-term deal and he does resign. Ronnie Harrison, strong safety, very, very cheap. Do want to keep him around, he stays. Taven Bryan, I do not want to keep around just because his development, I think I can get a better defensive tackle in the draft. Leon Jacobs, 74 overall, star development. I do want to keep you around, and he stays as well. Everyone else here, I don't have an interest for. So apart from that, guys, I would say it is time to get into the playoffs. And here we are in the playoffs, not making the playoffs, coming off a win to the Jets as we finish 9-7, third in the division, as three teams tie at 9-7. Minshew did not have the year I wanted him to have. Well, actually, he did. He actually had a pretty good year. Fifth best defense, 29th best offense. Yikes. Good in touchdowns. Too many interceptions. Lackluster yards for his style of QB. Alvin Kamara over 1,000 yards, only five touchdowns. DJ Chark only one touchdown, but uh, our... Our new receiver with 13 touchdowns. I don't know how you say his name, so I'm just not even going to try. Miles Jack with 106 tackles, 19 tackles for a loss for Josh Allen, 13 and a half sacks for Josh Allen, 
four interceptions for Ronnie Harrison and safeties is one for Caleb Von Chason and defensive touchdowns is zero. So apart from that, guys, I would say it is time to get into the offseason. And here we are in the offseason as the Cleveland Browns beat the New Orleans Saints in Super Bowl 55 whenever it should be Super Bowl 60. 56, but EA is retarded. So Taven Bryan did get a dev upgrade, so I will re-sign him to this team. And apart from that, he does re-sign. It looks pretty good. Everyone else here, I do not have an interest for. And we're going to look into the development upgrades as Taven Bryan does have super, just star development from what you can see from the signings. Nothing on offense defensively. Josh Allen has superstar X Factor with relentless and he has B-O-G-O -O and Defensive Rally. And Miles Jack has Superstar X Factor as well now with Shutdown. So very, very good. What is his abilities? Unfakeable and B-O-G-O. -O. I guess I'll have to read up on these new abilities soon. There's some new Superstar X Factor abilities like Relentless as well. But apart from that, guys, I think it would be time to get into free agency. I forgot to record free agency, so you're just going to see the team after the draft as we pick up a defensive tackle, 78 overall, normal development. And this is what the team looks like after the draft and after free agency because I did forget to record it. But we did get a new QB. I'm sorry, but Minshew isn't producing. And he was there in the third round or the second round, something like that. So he was just an easy pickup. He wasn't like I needed to go out of my way to get him. Now I'm going to start him considering he's a 75 overall. We don't know what his development is. We got a second string middle linebacker and we got Richard Sherman in free agency as I put him and at free safety and i'm going to move this free safety that i did pick up in the draft as well i think he was a late first round pick and i'm going to move him to defensive back and that way we get reps more reps from him at that position hopefully he can win rookie of the year and get a star development that'd be great but apart from that guys it is time to get to the midseason mark here we are at the midseason mark coming off a win to the Tennessee Titans as we are four and three second in the division behind the Indianapolis Colts and we have players to resign such as Josh Lambeau. Usually I would just let a kicker go to free agency and then pick him up for cheaper in free agency but he deserves a contract. 90 overall superstar development and Brandon Linder the center deserves a contract. He wants more money though. Andrew Norwell wants a super big contract bigger than Andrew Linders and uh and Brandon Linder I feel like an idiot for saying that Gardner Minshew I don't I don't want to resign I'm sorry guys I can't spend that much money on a quarterback that just doesn't produce cough cough Cowboys you shouldn't spend 40 million on Dak Prescott but uh overall I'm not going to trash on any other players for now but apart from that guys everyone looks good I'm going to resign our center in the offseason and I'm going to see what our quarterback has. Hopefully he has his development by now. And he has superstar development. That's the perfect reason why I did not resign Gardner Minshew. And he's already a 79 overall, just like Gardner Minshew, but with superstar development. With quick draw, I don't know what that is. And it looks kind of useless. And anchored extender. And apart from that, everything looks pretty good to me. So I would say it is time to get into the playoffs. And if you guys like Madden 21, just comment down below. Mo for the most part, I don't really like it. But apart from this, that guys, it is time to get into the playoffs. And here we are, obviously, in the playoffs, as I should have started with that. And we finished 8-8, eight and eight, not making the playoffs once again, as Greg Buckner had an amazing season. Third best offense, yearly awards, Patrick Mahomes, MVP, Coach of the Year, Anthony Lynn, and Offensive Player of the Year, uh, Greg Buckner, Offensive Rookie of the Year is what I was looking for. Cam Newton for Best QB. Best Running Back, Josh Jacobs. Willie Sneed wins Best Wide Receiver, which is interesting. Vaughn Miller, Best Linebacker. Kenny Moore, Best DB. Justin Tucker, Best Kicker. So that's pretty good. Now we're going to look into the stats as Greg Buckner, 4,500 yards, 35 TDs, 16 interceptions isn't good. But overall, amazing player. Alvin Kamara, over 1,000 yards. DJ Chark, pretty good. And defensively, Joe Schober with 107 tackles. Tackles for a loss is 10 for Miles Jack. Sacks is 9.5 for Josh Allen. Interceptions is 2 for Joe Schobert. And safeties is 0. Defensive touchdowns is 1 for Ronnie Harrison, the strong safety, which is great. And apart from that, guys, it is time to get into the offseason. And here we are in the offseason as the Saints beat the Chargers in the Super Bowl. We have players to resign such as Brandon Linder and 88 overall 
Yes, he is 31 years old, but he does have star development, and we're going to be going into our last year anyways. Gardner Minshew, I'm going to let hit free agency, and I'm going to tag our center because he did not resign, obviously, as you could see. But, um, yeah, I don't really want Gardner Minshew. But looking into the team to see if there's any development upgrades. First, we're going to upgrade some Coach XP right here. Well, not upgrade Coach XP, but spend it. And we are going to look into the team now. As superstar development for our QB, as you can tell. 85 overall with morale, 84 without morale. And it looks like he started with superstar development, obviously, as you can see. And looking into everything else, the offense looks the same. No development upgrades from what I can see. Defensively, our middle linebacker, second string, has superstar development, but I don't think he'll be able to progress far enough to get above Joe Schobert. So I'm going to keep him at second string. Ronnie Harrison does have superstar development now, as, as that is very useful. 82 overall with secure tackler, and the other ability is locked. And everything looks pretty good to me. So we're going to be entering our final season soon. So apart from that, guys, it is time to get into free agency. And here we are in free agency as we have 12 million in cap room, but there's no one here that I want to sign. I mean, there could be players that I want to go after, after but I would rather just pick some players up in the draft. And here we are in the draft making a trade with the Eagles as we are trading away a first round pick and a third round pick for Fletcher Cox. And this is what the team looks like after the draft. And if you guys were wondering, we also got someone else. That's right, JJ Watt. I didn't show it on camera because I screwed it up and I was spamming A instead of actually recording what happened. So uh, yeah, we have Fletcher Cox and JJ Watt. And here we are at the midseason mark. And those players were pretty easy to trade for, Fletcher Cox and JJ Watt, because they were both like... I think Fletcher Cox was like 31 or 32 and JJ Watt was like 33 or 34. Yeah, look at their age. But anyways, we don't need to re-sign anybody here because it is the final season. And apart from that, it is time to get into the playoffs. And here we are in the playoffs coming off a win to the Indianapolis Colts. And we are 12 and 4, but only made a wild card instead of getting a first round by. Top of the division above the Indianapolis Colts. Greg Buckner didn't do nearly as good as he did last year. Ninth best offense, first best defense in the NFL. Not surprised by that. Greg Buckner with 3,600 yards, 27 touchdowns. Avin Kamara had a good season, the season that we've been finally waiting for. DJ Chark, overall pretty good. And defensively, Chibie Awuzie or Chidabe Awuzie. Most tackles, tackles for a loss, 14 for J.J. Watt. Sacks, 13 and a half for Josh Allen. Interceptions, three for Chidabe Awuzie. And safeties is zero and defensive touchdowns is one for Richard Sherman. So apart from that, guys, I would say it's time to simulate this wildcard round. I know I'm, I know it's probably a mistake to simulate the wildcard round considering this is our first playoff run of the series in this episode. But we win 31 to 28 and we are here to play the New England Patriots against the Jacksonville Jaguars in the AFC Championship not AFC Championship, the divisional round. They did play in the AFC Championship, though, a few years ago in real life. But yeah, let's jump into this. And here we are in the third quarter, 22-7 to against the New England Patriots as we are crushing them. Not really crushing them that badly, but it's 25-7 to now. And we are in the fourth quarter, three minutes left, 35 to seven. And now we're crushing them 42 to seven as we pull away in the fourth quarter, taking it home as we move on to the AFC championship. And here we are in the third quarter of the AFC championship here playing the Cincinnati Bengals as it is 38 to 17. And that will be your ball game. 38 to 17 is your final score. And we move on to the Super Bowl. And I know that was kind of like short there because I forgot to record the part where I was showing where I was about to play the Bengals but I just showed you guys the part where we were in the game that's the part that you guys really need to know but apart from that guys we are in the Super Bowl and what I and from what I can see there's no real development upgrades but apparently we have some random receiver that's on the bench that has star development I was unaware of him uh, this is a lot of X factors on one team well, on one side of the ball, but overall, very, very good team. It is time to hop into the Super Bowl matchup against the New Orleans Saints. And here we are, and we're probably even playing in the Mercedes Superdome. 
that would be pretty cool I mean, not really cool for us because they have home field advantage, but it is 20 to 16 in the fourth quarter. They have burned all their timeouts and they're looking to win it, but they cannot. The Jacksonville Jaguars are your Super Bowl champions, 20 to 16 in the Super Bowl. Jacksonville Jaguars take home their first Super Bowl win ever in history. And your Super Bowl MVP is Greg Buckner, 329 yards, one TD, one interceptions, 54.9% completion rate. Not a great game, but I guess there's no one better to pick from. But apart from that, that will do it. Anyways, guys, if you guys all enjoyed this video, I know I did. This is my first ever Madden 21 franchise rebuild. I did Madden 20 rebuilds last year. So if this is your first time coming to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and share it if you want. Just if you want. I'm not going to force you to do anything, obviously. You obviously can't force you through a screen. But overall, I hope you guys, again, did enjoy this video. And if you guys want to see more, comment down below which team you would like me to do that next. And I would most likely do it because I don't really have any fans or subscribers. But apart from that, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.